Managing your digital files and folders on your computer can get kind of hectic when you start having subfolders and subfolders and subfolders. I actually use an app called Notion to keep track of all my files and folders related to work, school or education. In this video I'm going to show you one of the ways I actually do that and we're starting right now. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates check out the link in the description below. For those of you unfamiliar with Notion, these are actually databases full of information. I have my projects database, my notes database and then my areas database. These views are all filtered for last edited within the past week. You could think of these as your quick access tab for your projects, your files and your notes and all the other areas that you may be using. Now because each of these are databases they have their own search bar, so if I was to go into projects I can search for anything in there. So if I'm looking for class 3 notes I can type class 3 and you can see module 2 comes up because I have class 3 in my module 2. So I'm essentially looking for a file inside of a folder. I can do the same thing if I'm looking for an area, so if I'm looking for everything related to school I can type in school and module 1 and notebook 1 will turn up because they are related to my school area. And you can see in module 1 you can see all the notes that are specific to that module. And the same thing with notebook 1, it's related to the school so it's showing up and in there I can see all of the notes that are related. The same thing is true for the notes database, so if I'm looking for a specific project on notebook I can type that in and then everything related to that notebook will show up. And I'm sure you've worked out by now, but if I type in client for example, it's going to show work because client is related to work. So if I go into one of these pages, and you can probably associate the page as a folder, you can see I could relate them to any of the areas and any of the notes that I have. Then I have last edited, which is automatic, so every time I edit a page, that will change. Now inside this page you can put whatever you want, so you can see I've got an image because I'm going to be adapting my kitchen, then I've got a word document that I may have saved even though I use Notion, I would actually probably use Notion for that word document but in case you need to link something it's there. Then if you get sent over a PDF you could have part of the PDF embedded or you could have the whole PDF embedded. And then you can use this page as anything else, so if you wanted to write loads of work you can put that in there, if you wanted to create another page specific to the project you could also do that. If you're looking to work with spreadsheets or anything like that you could create a database inside of this project and have those numbers in there. If you have a quote or an email that you need to link to you could have the link in the database, so this is just an example email that I sent myself. So you can store everything in this one page that's specific to the project. You don't have to go through all of those subfolders and find the right file that's in the folder because it's all there. Now you can imagine when you've got loads and loads and loads of projects you don't want to see them all at the same time. Which is why I've got this database as a page. So now it's going to show absolutely everything, so if I had hundreds of projects in here they would all show up. And I can use that search bar to search for anything I'm looking for, so if I know the note the project or the area it will show up. So I don't have to go searching through the subfolders to find what I'm looking for because I just need to search for it. And then to add a project all I need to do is push the add new button at the bottom. Then I can add the area associated, I can add the notes associated and I can add anything else I need to in the page. The same thing happens with a module, I can add a new, I can click on that template which automatically puts in that hat, you can change that hat, all the templates are customizable. And the exact same process is possible with the notes. So if we go in and add a note, click on one of those templates, name the note, you can see there it is. And again if you want to add some class notes you can add a template in there. Now if you've got things that you specifically need to do every time you can create a template. So you can see this is for class notes. So you can see once I've clicked that class template I've got my table of content in there, I've got my first heading in there and then I can start taking notes straight away. If you're interested to see how to take notes quicker on Notion check out this video over here and I'll see you there.